A little basic video on furnace cleaning. You probably really want to get professional. I don't really advise you doing this if you don't know what you're doing. So this is just trying to show you a theory. This thing doesn't really get maintained that well except for the air filters. First thing you do for shut, for working on is shut them off. There's a switch. And make sure you turn the thermostat all the way down too so the eight next can go on. Cover the slides off. And make sure you got a good air filter first of all. And usually these things won't run when the covers are off too. There's my air filter, a cheap little fiberglass one. They suck, I shouldn't be using it. What I did is take a can of air, use it for your computers and stuff, blew this whole thing out. Now my issue is, this is throwing, was making banging noise, scaring the heck out of me. Um, so I'm like, crap, come down and look at it, and there's flame shooting out, it's backfiring like a car. So I took this cover loose, and actually you need to know where a flame sensor is. The flame sensor is right over there. You can clean it with cardboard, with uh, sandpaper a little bit more careful. Clean with the two wires sticking out back there. And what I did is blew this all off for dust. These pieces come out. These are quarter inch screws on each side of them. One on each side. There they are. And then what I did after that put the little light here so that helps. I took a little wire brush. These are a do dollar store, seriously. Or Harbor Freight or a local tool store. I brushed where the gas comes out, which isn't really where you want. I took these little horns. These are what they look like. Put them back exactly where they came. If these can get full of lint and dirt, that can cause a backfire. So I cleaned these out with the brush. I can't really get inside it this way. So I really didn't see anything in there, and I shook them down to the ground and just took a little paper clip and just scratched it up a little bit. And then these just go back on. It's going to be hard with my little camera and my hand work. They just slide on. And then they go on. I just kept them the same way they went on, in the same position they went on to. I don't think it matters, but... And then what I'm going to do is put the little screws on for them. And then I should be done. Screw them down. They were quarter inch screws at the ends here. I just have to look at this to show you. Use that. And so, that, and so far, after I just cleaned them out with the air a little bit and brushing the, in, the tips, they actually fired up and I was able to shut it down without it blowing up on me. And this one isn't all the way back. That's why it ain't lining up. So let's cut this video short and this is what I've learned after doing some research on the internet and why it would be backfiring because the stuff would be clogged most likely. So, so far so good and hope this kind of helps you. Just this idea, just take this at your own risk. I'm not a furnace repairman. I just fix things on my own if I have to. So thank you for watching. A video here and cleaning furnace make sure this pipe the exit pipe here you can take it off and make sure there's no crap in here sometimes your pipe will rust out and stuff will get clogged in there and dead animals and vice versa so you want to make sure that blower motor is spinning and that crap I've had that happen one time already